Welcome back. We are joined as always by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes where we are, Blue Jacket Brewery downstairs, the Arsenal Restaurant. Greg, it is always good to see good you. See you too. It's been a long time since we've I been know. here. It feels good to be back. Baseball season underway. Good place, it's good to, place be. to be. Good place to be. Absolutely right. Um, yeah. So here we are. we're at Blue Jacket, and I figured it's been some time. We've been working on a lot of cool new stuff, so I wanted to. To show you some of it, and uh, no the one, one no one can accuse us of being homers. It's been months it's since been we did a blue jacket months beer. And months and months, um, but uh, this is going to be uh, a beer called Full Bloom. Uh, and one of the cool things about Blue Jacket now, we've been open uh, over a year and a half, and uh, you know, in year one last year, 2014, we did about 2,500 barrels on site, which is equivalent of you know near 5,000 kegs. So we were quite busy, but we did it the hard way. We did 125 different styles of beer in that time. So uh, that was a, a really cool kind of testing period. And while we continue to innovate and, 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 and play with flavors and different yeasts and wild yeasts and bacterias and, and, and hops and things like that, we are now starting to hone in on a handful of kind of flagship beers that we're rebrewing constantly and tweaking each time we go and getting them better and better and better. So one of those sort of standards is Full Bloom, which is what we're going to taste right now. Excellent. Lovely color. Ah, inviting. Oh, that's, that is really nice. That's good, yeah. That perfect time of year. Yes, springtime this. in bloom, full bloom. And this is um, uh, a really uh, cool beer that we do um, that is about 5.5% alcohol. Okay. Um, crisp, refreshing. Dry, and the trick with this beer is that we're using a particular strain, exclusively using a particular strain of Britannomyces on um, this beer. Uh, Britannomyces, of course, is the uh, as a, a form of, of yeast um, that is known for creating wilder, kind of funky flavors. Uh, there's five kind of major gene, uh, species of Britannomyces, or Brett for short, and the one that we're using is the most common. It's called Bruxellensis. Um, and not only is it Bruxellensis, it's a particular strain of Bruxellensis that is purported to have originated from uh, Dre Fontainen, uh, which is a Lambic blender and brewer outside of Brussels uh, in, in Belgium. So uh, a cool pedigree. And what we love about this, this, um, this Britannomyces strain is that it gives you some of the kind of classic funky, wild, earthy, um, barnyardy qualities you'd expect from a, a wild beer. But that's restrained and there's a lot more fruit going on. It's kind of a, a kind of a fresh kind of green strawberry uh, and peppery note in the nose as well. I mean, that stacks up with any type of Belgian beer I've had yeah, I mean, of this type. I mean, yeah. Nicely done. Nice and dry too on the palate. It's um, um, somewhat hoppy, but not overly bitter. It dries on the finish. We actually use all um, Southern Hemisphere hops in this beer. So hops that are coming to us from New Zealand and Australia. Pacifica, which gives it a kind of clean bitterness. Uh, Waimea for a citric note, um, and then Wakatu, which is kind of piney floral um, and perfumed as well. Great beer uh, for uh, pregame festivities when you're down here going to or a post, NAS game. Yeah. Yeah, or post, yeah. Or post. Or during, if you decide to stay here and watch it on TV at, uh, at the bar. It's rather comfortable during the games, actually, here. Uh, uh, people who've been here know, down behind us, you've got what George C. Scott and Dr. Strangelove might call the big board. Right. And uh, do you find for people who come in that that, that that can be intimidating, seeing that many beers up there? Um, but you you can buy tasters. So. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It's still, it's, it's funny you say that, because even after all this time, and it seems like everybody's beer list expands, 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 um, it can be intimidating, particularly because our beers, even if you know Blue Jacket, a lot of those beers are going to be new to you. Um, and if you don't know Blue Jacket, you, there's no anchor there. You're like, what is all this stuff? Uh, but that's where service comes in. And I've constantly talked about, you know, Blue Jacket is a, is an, uh, grows out of Church Key, Birch and Barley to Roosticos, our whole neighborhood restaurant group approach to craft beer. So service is, is, is uh, the biggest thing that we do here. Um, so staff members can kind of ease this kind of overwhelming nature of this whole space, actually, um, yeah. and, and point you in the right uh, direction, but also introduce you to things you might not think you'd like. I think the cool thing with what we're doing here at Blue Jacket is we're bending style. You know, a lot of people don't think that they love wild, funky Brett beer, but then they taste this and go, oh, that's not as wild and funky as they thought. Yeah, so, right. Really cool. What would you pair this with? So, 
Um, this beer is great with a lot of different things. I've been uh, thinking about strawberry qualities and how great that is with like um, spinach, spinach salads and things like that. But also been eating a lot of Greek food at home recently and drinking it, uh, this beer with it. So think of like spanakopita, uh, moussaka. This is great with eggplant. You could also do like eggplant parm if you wanted to there. The kind of fruit earthy qualities in the nose are really great. Um, and then, you know, kebabs and uh, lamb with like a lot of garlic and, and lemon would be fantastic as well. All right. Go Nationals. That's right. Greg, thank you as thank always. You. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.